Hi, this is Kenny Daigle with KD Cuts. It's a beautiful uh, early evening here in New Orleans. The sun's going down. Today we're doing a video on acrylic paint pouring. I've done a few videos in the past on this topic and we've used a technique called the dirty pour. Some of the comments I got was about the amount of paint that you needed to do a dirty pour and it seemed like you were wasting paint. Uh, fair enough critique. Today we're going to do something a little different. Okay, We're going to do what I'm going to call a micro pour and we're going to use these little things that are called bearing oilers. You can buy these on Amazon. They're extremely cheap. I've taken several colors and I've filled them up with some acrylic paint of my choice. I've added some flow medium, about a two to one paint to flow medium, two paint to one flow medium, and depending on what kind of paint you're using, if it's a standard acrylic, I've, you add some gloss to it as well. Here's an, what we're shooting for. This is a micro pour, this is a mock-up. I'm working on a small clutch for a client. And so I basically did a mock-up before I actually did the clutch. And we're shooting for this sort of look when we're done. So let's go to the workbench and get started. Okay, let's take a look at our color selection. So I've got a black for outlining. Got a silver, a turquoise, a red, a dark pink, a gold, a neon, and a copper. Now, on our test piece, you'll notice I used the black as sort of an outline. That's what I'm going to do here again. So there won't be any black inside of the pour, but I will use black for an outline. Okay, so let's start a micro pour. Okay guys, so you can see no particular order here. I'm just having fun. So now I'm getting closer to the edges. I've got to be a little more careful. I'm going to be using black around the edges to border, but I really want to be careful. But you'll see the colors. Now I'm really using the red. What's going on? 
That's copper. Getting close. Okay, so I skipped ahead, finished doing the micro pour, used the black to outline with. The next step is going to be to apply the stain like I did with the mock up. So let's review a little bit. I'm using these uh, bearing oilers or needle bearing oilers. I actually fill them up using these little cheap pipettes that you can buy online. And I call this a micro pour. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. See you soon.